Assalamualaikum to Dr. Farha. Today, we would like to present about analysis and interpretation of financial statement for Astro Malaysia Holding Berhad. Before we proceed to presentation, I would like to introduce our group members to you. The first one, Rashika, Malayana, Myself, Maisara, Ilya Maisara, Adriana, and the last one is Shahira. Project Overview in this case study, we are required to choose two Malaysia public listed companies. So we choose Astro Malaysia Holdings Berhad and S Main Company and Media Prima Berhad. We are required to perform ratio analysis by comparing the performance and position of the entity. The corporations are over two periods between a group and separate entity and with another entity in the same industry for the same period. Esso Malaysia Holdings Berhad operates in the media and entertainment industry. It is Malaysia's biggest content creator in a market where viewing share is dominated by local content. The principal activity of the company is investment holding. The company and its subsidiaries are collectively referred to as the group. I want to present ratio calculation. First, profitability. The profitability ratio helps to measure a company profitability through its efficiency of business activity. First, net profit margin. The formula, profit before interest tax divide revenue, multiply 100. Second, asset takeover. Formula, revenue divide capital employed, multiply 100. Third, return on capital employed. Formula, profit before interest tax divide capital employed, multiply 100. And fourth, gross profit margin. Formula, gross profit divide revenue, multiply 100. Next, Short-term liquidity and efficiency. Short-term liquidity is to determine a business ability to meet its financial obligation during the short term and maintain its short-term debt paying ability. First, current ratio formula, current assets divide current ability. Second, quick ratio, current asset minus inventory divide current liability. Third, inventory holding periods formula, gross profit divide revenue times 100. Long-term liquidity, interest cover formula, profit before interest tax divide final cost. And lastly, investor ratio, dividend yield. Formula, dividend per share, divide share price, multiply 100. Interpretation over two period, 2022 and 2023. First, net profit margin, the drop in 2023 compared to 2022, indicate lower in profitability. Second, asset lower, decline from 2022 to 2023, indicate lower asset utilization. Third, return on capital employed, decline from 2022 to 2023, showing inefficient use of capital. Fourth, gross profit margin, the decrease in 2023 compared to 2022, indicate that the company has a lower profit. 6. Current ratio improved from 2022 to 2023, indicating better short-term liquidity. 7. Quick ratio increased in 2023, signifying improved liquidity. 7. Inventory holding period good in 2023 in improving short-term liquidity. 8. Interest cover declined from 2022 to 2023, indicate that the company is having a problem paying its interest cost. And the last one, dividend yield decreased in 2023, compared to 2022, indicate that it has reduced its dividend payout to shareholder. Next, analysis to comparison between two periods. In 2023, Astro Malaysia declined in profitability compared to 2022. Net profit margin, return on capital employer, and gross profit margin have all decreased, reflecting a weakness ability to generate profit from operating. Astro Malaysia asset turnover has dropped, signaling reduced inflation in utilized asset for revenue generation. Moreover, the increased inventory holding period impact working capital and operational effection. In, in, in liquidity, the current ratio and quick ratio have increased, indicating an improvement in the company's short-term liquidity position. Next, comparison between parent and subsidiary. As from Malaysia Holdings per height, parent's company is more profitable than its subsidiary with a net profit margin of 7.6%, asset turnover of 0.94%, and higher ROCE of 8.77%. The subsidiary shows superior short-term liquidity and efficiency with a higher cover ratio and quick ratio. The parent company has a higher interest cover ratio of 2%, indicating better safety margin to cover interest expenses. Both companies has a dividend yield of 7.5%, similar return to investor. Assessing, assessing specific financial reporting can provide more information about their dividend policy and payout. Analysis Comparison between 
parent and subsidiary. Profitability. Net profit margin has increased. Return on capital employed and gross profit margin has all decreased. Efficiency. Asset turnover and inventory holding period has increased. The parent company outperformed than subsidiary and more profitable and efficient in utilizing its assets to generate income compared to the subsidiary. Liquidity, current ratio and quick ratio has decreased. The subsidiary demonstrates stronger liquidity, suggesting a better capacity to make a short-term obligation. The subsidiary also has a higher dividend yield, indicating pot potential for larger returns on dividends for investors. The interpretation of various financial ratio for Astro and Media Prima, providing insight into their profitability, asset utilization, liquidity, and financial stability. Firstly, the net profit margin of Media Prima is the higher than Astro, indicating potential more effective cost control or revenue generation. Additionally, Media Prima demonstrates higher asset turnover, signifying more profitable use of asset and a greater ROCE, reflecting more effective utilization of capital to generate returns. However, as well as if it is significantly higher gross profit, gross profit margin, uh, suggesting a more profitable core business. Moreover, moreover, when comparing the current and quick ratio, as well outperform media prima, indicating better short-term liquidity and the ability to make current application. On the other hand, media prima has a shorter inventory holding period, showcasing defection inventory management and faster inventory turnover. Furthermore, media prima has a higher interest cover ratio, indicating a greater ability to fulfill interest payments from operating income, while Astro offers a higher dividend yield, potentially making it more appealing to shareholders seeking return true dividends. The overall assessment of this analysis is Media Prima Berhad demonstrates superior financial performance, and Media Prima Berhad more profitability because of higher net profit margin and return on capital employed. This indicates efficient conversion of revenue into profit and better return on investment. Uh, this Company also more efficient through greater asset turnover and lower inventory holding period. It showcases effective utilization of resources and efficient inventory management. Lastly, Media Prima Berhad demonstrates a better capacity to meet short-term obligation because of stronger current and quick ratio. Besides that, Astro Malaysia Holding Berhad also has some advantage. A higher gross profit margin indicates Astro benefits from more premium pricing. Investors seeking immediate income might find Astro dividend yield more attractive. Other than that, if growth investor might invest in Mitra Prima Berhad because of efficiency and return on capital employed. That indicates better future growth potential. Lastly, Media Prima Berhad stronger liquidity and financial position might offer more security that attract risk-averse investors. As for conclusion, Astro Malaysian Holdings Berhad demonstrated improvement financial performance in 2022 with higher net profit margin and efficiency. The subsidiary Media Prima also demonstrated better profitability. Management should focus on cost structure optimization, inventory turnover improvement, and debt equity balance. That's all from us. Thank you.